So, if you haven't seen what is arguably Yoplait's worst ad to date, allow me to summarize. Oh my god! Cheesecake! Eat me! Ah! Calories! Wait! Food! What will I, what will I do? It's okay. I'm a socially acceptable food with basically no calories that you hardly have to chew. I can make it all better. Hooray! My fabricated problem is totally solved. Thank you, YoPlay. Now, if that looks ridiculous with cabbage patch dolls, I understand, but it looks basically as ridiculous in the original commercial. I'm not kidding. If scrambled eggs are your brain on drugs, this ad is your brain on eating disorder. Last Tuesday, after significant pressure from Nita's media watchdogs, Yoplait pulled this ad. Clearly, there are several ways in which this is good news. The spot will, in the very near future, no longer interrupt your regularly scheduled programming. Advocates who are just discovering they can call, email, tweet, and blog about companies have a concrete example of how their efforts can succeed, and those who prefer not to hear Yoplait's ad voice in addition to their own can officially arrest the mute button on their remotes. Still, I have my concerns. Most of them rest on the narrative forming around these events. The story about how Yoplait intended no harm, Nita explained the ad could trigger, and gobsmacked Yoplait execs pulled it from the air. This is the logic we're being handed. Yoplait didn't mean to trigger folks, but they're triggering folks, so the commercial's gone bye-bye. Now, this line of thinking scares the crap out of me. It's not that this ad isn't potentially triggering. It is. It's not that it shouldn't have been pulled. It should have. And it's certainly not to defend this ad or Yoplait's overall marketing campaign. I've been talking for weeks about why Yoplait needs to rethink their strategy. But I've also said and will stand by the fact that Yoplait ads primarily disgust me not because they have the capacity to trigger, but because they rely on a foundation of body and food shaming that are not acceptable practice. Period. Full stop. Do you hear me on this one? It is not ethical to sell a product by convincing people they suck. Ever. Not when those people are sick with eating disorders. Not when those people are well. Not when those people are thin and pretty and must be totally delusional. And not when those people are fat and ugly and supposedly need to lose weight. Because, you know, it always breaks down neatly between those two camps. Wait, it never does. It is not okay to shame people because it is not okay to shame people. In other news, one plus one equals two and the alphabet starts with an A. Unfortunately, this concept, unlike basic arithmetic and spelling, really baffles people. Both the attacks on Yoplait and the attacks on Nita discuss the ad primarily as an eating disorder trigger. Championing the thin ideal, spewing fat hatred, shaming people for their bodies and their eating habits, these are all apparently acceptable. This particular ad is only problematic apparently because of how it affects folks with or inclined toward eating disorders. And this should seriously unsettle us culturally because it means that we consider this ad damaging based only on the population viewing it. Actually, Nita CEO Lynn Graff said as much. The language in this advertising campaign was seriously problematic for those affected by eating disorders. Now, I agree with her wholeheartedly, but I think it's important to realize that when it comes to the issue of whether to pull this ad and others like it, the effect it might have on people with EDs is actually irrelevant. This ad isn't problematic because it could trigger someone with an eating disorder. This ad is problematic because it teaches all of us that lower calorie foods are better than rich ones, that losing weight is better than gaining it, that restricting is better than eating, and that thin is better than fat. It's sad to me that ads like this can still get made, aired, and defended in 2011. It's equally disheartening that these responsible, those responsible for getting it pulled see it only as potentially triggering and not as inherently damaging. Yoplait's decision to pull the ad, which I applaud, does not erase the problems with their broader campaign, with the tweets squeeing, further proof that yogurt's awesome, a new study shows yogurt's associated with less weight gain over time, and the web content that reads, you could lose five pounds in two weeks. But the trigger conversation runs the risk of minimizing the issue to this one ad, the only one that's been accused of channeling someone with an eating disorder. If we frame this as a potential trigger issue and not as an issue that affects all of us, we allow less explicit food and body shaming to go unchecked. When Greff herself insists, we're not encouraging Yoplait eaters to go eat cheesecake, then indeed, that's not our goal at all. Part of me has to wonder, why the frick not? Why is it so much more comfortable for us to view this ad as potentially dangerous for a vulnerable population than as unnecessarily shaming for all? Why do we fall into a trap of saying people with eating disorders who are presumably already super thin don't need to restrict, but the rest of us fat folk and that person who is too big should really cut back on the cake? Why do we still do advocacy with disclaimers like, we don't mean just let yourself eat, we don't mean quit trying to lose weight, we don't mean that high calorie foods and being a fatty are totes bad for you. 
why do we still refuse to recognize that shame-based ad campaigns deserve to be discontinued not because they can potentially trigger certain populations, but because they are simply bad form? Why don't we trust people to buy yogurt because it's delicious? It is possible to sell products based on their inherent value. For example, yogurt equals tasty, without compromising the consumer's sense that Z2 is valuable. I believe in eating yogurt and in eating cheesecake. In, as Mara from Medicinal Mars Pan put it, recognizing that these treats or cheap foods or sweets or whatever you like to call them can be eaten and enjoyed without the world tumbling down around us. I believe we all have a right to have our cake and eat our yogurt too. And I believe in activism that refuses to settle for less. cream cheese. Oh, mama, now what's got into you?
So if you've really watched me eat this entire piece of cheesecake, wow. And uh, if you just skipped ahead, that's cool. I love you too. Okay, okay. Point is, keep resisting all the food and body shaming, whether it's in your own head or on your TV or from the people who are trying to advocate you, but advocate for you, but maybe don't always do the best job. It's all good, Robin Hood.